My name is Chris granger -Bell, and this is my Chapter 7 project for the Jude External. I received notification that a new patient had arrived and was in need of service via email from the doctor. I greeted the patient upon arrival and introduced myself and told him that I was going to be the one who was going to be taking his images today. I verified the patient's full name and date of birth and instructed the patient to be seated at the examination table. I also asked the patient if he needed any assistance getting to the examination table. The patient replied that he was fine and did not need any help at all. The patient was, when, as soon as the patient was sitting on the examination table, I asked the patient which part of his body was causing him discomfort. The patient replied that it was his right hip that was causing him a lot of pain and was making it very hard for him to move around. I verified that the image that the doctor requested was a, 40, was a right external Jude, Jude view of the patient. I asked the patient to rotate toward me until he reached a 45 degree angle. I placed the sponge underneath the patient's left side in order to help the patient maintain that position long enough for me to produce an exposure. I selected the 10 by 12 image receptor for this examination. The image receptor was placed inside the examination table portrait style. The SID for this examination was 40 inches. The patient was lying supine on the examination table, rotated on his right side at a 45 degree angle. The patient's anatomy was lying on top of the table, rotated toward the patient's anatomical right at a 45 degree angle. The location of the central ray was 40 inches superior to the patient's pelvic region, aimed two inches medial and two inches inferior from his ASIS, which is his anterior superior iliac spine. There was no need of any angulation for the tube for this exam. I collimated the central beam to reach approximately one inch outside of the patient's anatomy in question. I placed my issued marker on the anatomical right of the patient within the light field, slightly inferior to the patient's anatomy in question. According to the book, the KVP for the real patient is 80 to 90 KVP. However, per instructions of Mr. Starr, the KVP was set for this examination was 75. As soon as I reached the control panel, I instructed the patient to suspend his breathing for the remainder of this examination. The anatomy that was demonstrated was the anterior rim of the acebellum, the posterior column, the iliac wing, the posterior rim, and the head of the femur, along with the greater and the lesser trunk anther and the surgical neck. Pathology best demonstrated is dislocations of the femur from the acetabulum, as well as any fractures along the neck of the, along the, neck of the femur.